Hello, my friends. Our topic is encountering God. My friends, is there any time you thought your life has no meaning and you are born with no purpose, doing your daily work without any excitement and adventure? You are just living for a life's sake? Or are you tired of your living and wanting just to live for your family and spouse, but has no personal interest or desire to live? Or are you living with long-standing sickness and pain that gives you no answers why it doesn't deteriorate in spite of medications? Our devotion comes to us today from Revelation 11 verse 19. Then the temple of God was opened in heaven and the ark of his covenant was seen in his temple. And there were lightnings, noises, thunderings, and earthquake, and great hail. My friends, Revelation chapter 11 verse 19 is the junction between end time events chapters and God's judgment. Before God revealed the end time events, God wanted to strengthen you and me, that time is no longer. Your worries are no longer. Your stressful time is no longer. Also, your frustration is no longer just because God has opened his most holy place and showed you the Ark of Covenant. The question is, why should I see the Ark of Covenant while I'm passing through difficulties and many demands. Why should you ponder upon the Ark of the Covenant when your everyday food has become tears and tears alone? Bible gives you three significant answers why you have to see the Ark of the Covenant. Number one, Exodus chapter 25, 21, 22, meeting place. My friends, the Ark of the Covenant is nothing but the place where you and God encounter. God has promised you that I will meet you at the Ark of the Covenant. And now it is opened. Now it is seen before your eyes. Therefore, you don't have to feel lost, lonely, and careless. Can you find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows your every weakness. Take it to the Lord at the Ark of the Covenant. Number two, 1 Samuel chapter 5, verse 4. Your haters are defeated. God showed the Ark of the Covenant because it symbolized that God brought your haters, your discourages before you. You may be wondering why God is a distant, why God is very silent when you pass through difficult times. But from today, my friends, you will see that God is not going to be silent anymore. Rather, he will make your betrayers and traitors to fall before you. Number three, Joshua chapter 6, 12 and 13. Victory is assured. My friends, you are showed the ark of the Lord, not just to visit, but to be assured. God has brought you victory. When Joshua asked the priest to carry the ark of the covenant, the Jericho walls trembled down. The enemies were slaughtered and defeated. Even today, where is the ark of the covenant in your life? It is right in your heart. The Ten Commandments are written in your heart to assure the victory is belong to you. And the victory has been reserved for you to experience. Just trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Here is the hope for you today from Jude 24 and 25. To him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before his glorious presence without fall 
and with great joy to the only God of a Savior be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly God, our life is so complicated. Our life is so frustrated, dear Lord. There is someone here. They are crying in the morning, in the afternoon, and even in the night. They are even able to sleep. Please, dear Lord, comfort them. Meet them at your ark. Thank you so much for opening the temple and showing the ark of the covenant where we and you meet. Thank you so much for the assurance of victory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.